The Friends Meeting House in Kendall in Cumbria is a historic building dating from 1816. Today it's used both as a Quaker place of worship and the home of the Quaker Tapestry Museum. As with many places of worship, simply looking after the building is expensive. And if repairs are urgently needed, it's hard for the worshipping community to pay for them themselves. It was built to a very high standard. The quality of materials and the standard of workmanship are absolutely beautiful. Um, but like all buildings, it suffers the effects of the weather and we have a lot of weather up here. We found a lot of slates were starting to slip. We found the lead work was starting to split as well. And we decided that just doing patch repairs just wasn't good enough anymore. We needed to do something that would put the building back in the condition that it deserved. Um, so we decided to fully reslate over a breathable underfelt, replace all the lead work um, and do that to a much better standard, do some repointing and repair any rotted timbers. This is a listed building. It has to be maintained for the good of the public by the owners. And we are just 55 people. As you probably know, a listed building, specialist materials, you need specialist surveyors, you need specialist contractors, and it all costs so much more. And we've got money to a certain extent, but we've just been dealt a whammy with this one, just because of the scale of it and the, the stuff that's been uncovered. It's that proverbial can of worms. Once you take the lid off it, you don't know what you're gonna find. At some point during the, the building's history, there was a re-roof carried out and they disturbed all of the eaves details and they put it back in sort of mid 70s, early 80s standards where conservation wasn't a, a high issue. It was rather unsympathetic, which caused a lot of structural damage. We have hit problems with the building. As we opened it up, we found uh, more defects, so more funding needed to be raised. We have a very interesting old Quaker expression, which is that the way will open. And I've used that many, many times in my life, personally, when I've been in danger of getting upset about something. I've just had to say, calm down, the way will open. Well, the way has opened, thanks to a grant of over £400,000 from the National Churches Trust, funded by the government's Heritage Stimulus Fund. The amount of money involved, would it, it would have been impossible to do it without the, the grant funding as well. We can keep the doors open and people can still use this building, uh, be that to visit the museum, be that for worship, or we have room hire. It's a building for the community. We are incredibly grateful to the National Churches Trust for investing in our roof, which will enable us to carry on. I'm confident that the work that we're doing now will be good for at least another 100 years. And, and we've been working on that basis. We want to put this building back in the condition that it deserves. Kendall Friends Meeting House is now able to stay open and at the heart of the community. It's one of 32 places of worship that have benefited from £3.6 million worth of grants awarded by the National Churches Trust, thanks to funding from the Heritage Stimulus Fund, enabling them to save precious heritage and keeping them at the heart of local communities.